Hello everyone, um, this is Brian from Brian Tech. Today, you're going to see something very interesting. You're going to see GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is a technology based on the OpenAI ChatGPT3. Right now, there's a new version came out at the moment called ChatGPT uh, GPT4. So Copilot is a special version using the OpenAI's Codex API. So it's basically integrated with the um, Copilot to able to suggest and help you while you write your code. So it's nice assistant whenever you want to, when you're trying to write a code, whether it's in Java, Python, HTML, etc. But it's not going to completely replace your work. It's just going to make it your work more productive. So today demo, I may have a little time later um, in the future, probably to talk about um, Copilot and what it is in general. For today's, I just want to show you that what is Copilot can do, what Copilot can do, and what is it capable of doing, and then how can you help your job much easier as a programmer. So I'm familiar with it mostly with the Java, but it's every little while. So I will try to remember as much as possible. I'm going to create a um, Java class that does a calculation, few calculation, as well as check if the number is a prime number, which means that if the number is a prime, it's only divisible by the number and then the one, uh, one, number one. Um, and I want to need also see if I can determine if a, a string inside a string array is a palindrome, meaning that is you can is the same character whether you read it from the uh, left or right. Okay, so I will mo explain more as I you know I will show the demo. But again, um, I will start creating a, a Java class first. So I have a create a direct I create a directory called Copilot demo. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to need to call this is calculator Java. So the way a Copilot work is that I have this inspection extension installed on my uh, Visual Studio Code. So you can see that Copilot is installed. Um, but as as soon as you install and then you start enable and start typing, it can give a suggestion. For example, if I write a comment like you know this or that in the Java, and if I want to to say. No, and it will automatically able to detect it and suggest it based on the name of the file or the just or anything that you remember from the past. So instead of doing this, um, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the scratch because uh, um, I want to make sure to achieve what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to just type a uh, create a regular class called calculator. Again based on the name and based on the other previous what you have done before, it can uh, smartly detect what is, you know, what you want to do. Of course, that if you want to detect that as a suggestion, you can hit the tap button and then, you know, save it and run it. But let's say I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to undo. I'm going to create a class called calculator and then go, and go from there. Um, first thing I want to do is that I want to create a public space or void many. I can take the suggestion, but I'm going to delete everything here. Okay. Instead, what I want to do is that I want to create a uh, function that returns a boolean value true if a number is maybe prime because I've done it before. That's why I kind of remember. So again, just able to generate it. Now, what I want to do next is that I want to first create a create a list um, list of integers that are randomly generated and stored in an array. Okay. So randomly generated list of a large integer they are rendering generated let's do that and 
the and then array of the log integer. Okay. Again, the one thing thing you need to remember is that even Copilot is smart enough to you know suggest things and then doing from scratch. You have to know what you're doing, otherwise, you know, you, you might do something that you might not, that the result that you might not expect. So, still, I highly recommend to have uh, some background of things there to make your job easier, not to completely replace your work. Because, um, so yeah. So, if that is suggest that I want to at least go, it was going through the prime number, um, the list of. The integers that the random generated and the print of number. So instead of doing that, I want to print out the custom message. I'm going to say that um, print out a message that this is a prime number. This is number equal next to n. Okay, so different message this time. So let's try to compile it at the first and see what the result looks like. So I'm going to Java. To compile and then calculator. Again, okay, this is a there's a lot of numbers there, a thousand. So let's see again. Try to adjust a little bit. That's really too much. Maybe it will be twenty. So that should be good enough. So again, the the behavior like this, you have to know what you're doing. I mean, Copilot can help you, but it is not going to help you to to the point that this is, you know, not going to completely replace what you uh, already know. So maybe 20 is too much because, you know, not all the numbers are prime. So that's good. Now let's see if we can create a maybe, let's see, um, try something different. I want to sort this uh, number. So I'm going to say uh, sort the array in ascending order. That sounds good. Okay, printing out. Um, array sort. So cannot find the symbol. So this one you probably have to include import. Okay, so it doesn't suggest, but uh, you need to make sure. Okay, so you can see that you know this is the prime number, and then um, then sort. Oh, of course, I need to print out. Just to make sure, okay. Okay, I'm going to say print plain and then print out sorted list, okay. So, yep. So this is the result. Now that's good. Now I want to go and check if I want to try something different. Um, that's a really good option too. Instead, I want to try something different. Let's say I want to create a an array of a string. Um, I can type and then array. Uh, I'm gonna say list um, palindrome. Okay. So this can work. The question is, then how many of them are them act? going to generate the palindrome. Again, palindrome is a string that is same whether you read it from left or right. For example, AA is a palindrome because it's an AA whether you are reading from the left or right. Or ABA is a palindrome because ABA or ABA from the left or right. Or ABBA or ABC, um, BA or all palindrome. So because I will not have a much of control over I'm instead of taking the suggestion, I'm going to just try to automatically um, suggest it, maybe, and that, and then going to be cat, and ABC, CBA, and then DDD, and then DEFGHI. So, sounds good. So now I want to write a function, print, uh, instead of writing, um, instead of printing in the main, um, 
function, there's return Boolean type with number parameter perfect. So that's the kind of exactly what I want to do. So that's automatically. So just think for you. So I will take that and here I will go back. Perfect. Perfect. So let me try to compile that. Um, there is a some error because of my typo. I mean the the Java requires semicolon at the end. So there we go. Did it compile fine? Perfect. So that's kind of exactly what I want to do. Let me print out the message over here. So um, and then when I say system out print name, check if the uh, for no parent are perfect and then the semicolon and. So perfect. Um, so this is good. At least in a for very very short time, um, in just a few minutes, I was able to do all those things. Um, so there is some my something else you might find interesting. For example, HTML and Java, HTML Python, and then other interesting languages. But just for today, I think that you kind of saw the capacity uh, capability of what Copilot can do and how can you make your job easier. The one big takeaway you should know is that can you make your job easier, but in an, it can give a suggestion even if you don't know anything. However, as a programmer, you should still know and able to validate if this is right or wrong. So, because otherwise, if you just trust Copilot and then you have no idea how to fix it, you know, that will not work. So please be aware of that, aware of that. Copilot can your, make your job easy because a lot of things that you have done before, who's, I mean, all the boilerplate code and all the things that you have to kind of look it up and then reference it. Now, Copilot can make that part easy, but it's not going to complace what you're doing because you still have to know what you're doing. So that's it. And then hopefully you, I can show something else next time about Copilot. Till then, see you later.